Stroke is a neurologic emergency. For every minute that the brain goes without blood flow, 1.9 million neurons are dying. We have a saying in neurology that time is brain. Cinepatics 911, what's the address of emergency? Um, my mom is, she can't speak. She tried to say something to me and then she got really scared and then she started slurring all of her words. Okay, can you ask her if she has any history of stroke? That's what she thinks it is. She thinks it's a stroke? Yeah. On our way to the scene, we're thinking, okay, stroke symptoms. Time is important on a stroke call because we do not want their condition to worsen. How do you feel today? Can't talk? A little confused? Yeah. The paramedics arrived and they determined that it was a stroke and I was, I still confused and not sure what was happening, but they said we're going to get another van over here just for strokes. When we get on scene and we have the mobile stroke unit already on its way, we know that the highest care is being brought right to the scene. The mobile stroke unit brings uh, not just the ambulance and the medication and the personnel to deliver it, they bring the lab, they can do blood tests on the spot. They bring the CAT scan to the patient. They bring the neurologist to the patient. When I was paged, I was sitting at the computer workstation where we do our telemedicine evaluations. I electronically dropped specific orders in to the chart. This is very important act to move, okay? I have a CT scan of her head for her to have specific blood work to evaluate her, and I beamed into the ambulance, and then I saw Loretta and I started talking to her. And immediately it was obvious that she was having trouble talking to me. Can you tell me what your name is? I'm performing a rapid neurologic assessment we call the NIH stroke scale. She did not have significant weakness at the time. Her main symptoms was her speech disturbance. In evaluating her, I determined that she was having a stroke and that her predominant symptoms qualified her for the clopidogrel medication TPA. Okay, TPA has been started. We were able to administer that medication in a very short period of time. The more rapidly we administer the medication, the more rapidly we restore blood flow, the greater the likelihood is that it'll have reduced disability and better function after their stroke. I recall some kind of medicine in the IV and all of this was happening while I was still in the parking lot and I was, it was like, wow. After receiving the medication, she was then immediately transported over to the Marymount Emergency Room. I arrived at the emergency room. They told me the stroke was over and I was blown away. On a daily basis, she improved. So first she was able to get more words out, and then she was able to get them out with greater ease. And this continued every single day until the day of her discharge. To say that I had this big stroke, and it was, you know, less than two weeks ago, and all I have is a little bit of stumbling of my words and everything else is gone. That is incredible to me. It is a game changer. It is a, a major event in the history of neurology and medicine. This type of program would not be possible without the generous contributions of uh, private citizens such as the Maltz family and in their contribution to create the mobile stroke treatment unit they're able to realize a dream a dream of creating the most effective system of stroke care that we can offer. Oh, I can't even say how grateful I am that those folks they were all doing what they needed to do and they did it quickly and to say that I was lucky doesn't even cover it, doesn't even cover it. It's, I feel like the luckiest person on the planet, absolutely.